Right, so we want to calculate the limit here. Um, the trick for doing this is to divide every term by n cubed, n cubed being the highest power of n. So limit n goes to infinity, each piece divided by n cubed would become one minus five over n, and then one over uh, n minus two over n squared plus one over n cubed. And then when n goes to infinity, we'd be left with one minus zero over zero minus zero plus zero, which is one over zero. So this here diverges. Also, um, when you're dealing with a rational function here, I'll just put a line under this. The other way to think about this is when dealing with a rational function and the variable, in this case n, is going to infinity, you can just look at what the dominating term is. So for a cubic, the dominating term is being the n cubed, and for the quadratic, the dominating term is n squared. So you are permitted for such problems to replace the numerator here with n cubed and the denominator here with n squared. Uh, and this will equal the limit as n goes to infinity uh, of n. So in both cases, it diverges, but um, kind of like the second way of doing it, because you can see how it diverges. Um, the rational function is approaching infinity, whereas in the first method, you just see that it diverges, but one over zero isn't defined. You don't know if it's plus or minus infinity. So it does the job of answering the question, does it converge or diverge? It diverges. Slightly prefer the second method here.